Hello, good afternoon once more, and good afternoon my subscriber, good afternoon my viewers all over the world. I would like to use this opportunity to say thank you for subscribing, sharing my videos, and for your positive comment and for requesting of this video. Yes, on my previous video, I talked on attitude. I said your attitude can either make you go far or your attitude can limit you. It is good to have a positive attitude. At times, most attitude is even better than your degree because you might have the best degree in this world you might have the best skills in this world if you don't have an attitude it could destroy the value of your degree but at times you could have a positive attitude a very good attitude it will reflect better off it will take you that far even more than your degree and what we need to understand is that men does not only recognize attitude god himself recognizes attitude when you have an act positive attitude, when you have a good attitude, God is willing to bless you. For example, it's practical and it's simple. If, for example, if I give you a gun, and I know the gun is meant for you to protect yourself, you use it to kill everybody in your street, why will I give you a gun? If, for example, I give you a car, and when you have a car, you will insult everybody in the street, why will I give you a car? So at times, do I just use those simple analogy for you? Because at times we said a lot of us will complain. Why are we not doing better than we were meant to be? Or why are we not excelling in life the way we were meant to excel? The question is that you have to look at yourself. Do you have an attitude? When you have a positive attitude, you change a lot of things. I cannot entrust things with you when your attitude is not good. I cannot instruct things with you when you are not responsible. I understand that all of us may, may have bad past or a past that are not good, but the question is that how long are you living that to correct your past? You should try to live a life whereby people will trust you with it. You should try to live a life whereby people will be confident to say that you can do this. You should try to live a life that people will say at least you are able to add a value to them. Because no matter where you are, even though you're in the Western world or you're in Africa or any climate, you are, if your attitude is not good, it put people off. You need to learn how to value people. You need to be honest. You need to be respectful. You need to try to appreciate people for what they are. You need to learn how to use the spirit to say thank you. Most people will say, most people will say, oh, you didn't help me. Oh, you didn't help me. We're friends. You didn't help me. I'm your brother. You didn't have my sister. You need questions. And what is your attitude? What is the attitude? Does your attitude quantify the help? Does your attitude quantify that people coming close to you? There are certain things you need to do. If you appreciate little, you motivate people to do more. So you should not expect more from people when you've not given to them. You should not expect more from people when you cannot even give little to others. So and again, one thing you need to understand too, like I said in my previous videos, help at times come. It could be word, it could be advice, it could be prayer, it could be counseling. But it's always good to have a positive attitude towards things. If you look at the countries where we're coming from now, most of our mindset there is not as positive as it is expected to be. And if you look at it, it's affecting people back home. It's not that um, there's no problem everywhere all over the world, but at times our attitude, our mindset needs to change. We just need to say, okay, I just have to do this right. This has to be so. This system is not working this way. We have to change the system. And again, so it will be good, positive too, that you understand that. And this thing has already limited you for a very long time. You'll be taking that same attitude to where you are going to or to where you are living presently. It's not good. You can abort that. That's why at times I tell people, I say Christianity is not just for you to make heaven. It's to make you live a better and a good life, a fulfilled life, a disciplined life. Why will people not trust you? Why will people give you money and eat it? Why will people ask you to do a job and you don't do it? Why will you tell lies over a job? Do your job that people ask you to do and get money and get more recommendation in the future. Be honest to people. Be truthful to people. Once anything go wrong in your business, be truthful to them. Once people loan you money, tell them you will pay. pay. Do things right. Build a positive attitude because one, it helps to set a platform for you for your greater right. You have to have a positive attitude to your job. You have to have a positive attitude to anything that you know that you do, you expect to do, even in your skill. You have to have a positive attitude to your customer. You have to have a positive attitude to your landlord. 
any person, any works of life, to your lecturer, any works of life, you, know, you have to have a positive attitude. Even if it's community, even if the society, you have to have a positive attitude. You have to be respectful. You have to appreciate people. You have to value people. Don't disregard people. Yes, yeah, see friends as resources. See people around you as resources. You have to keep good people because good people around you, they are wealth. It's more than money in the bank that nobody can give to you. I understand this. I've learned it. I've seen it. I know what friends are. My primary school friends, my secondary school friends, my university friends, my friends that both went to MMC, to my master's level 8 and level 9 today, they are solid. You must keep them. They are very, very important in your pathway. That's why it's the only way you can keep friends is positive attitude. Even in marriages, even in homes, what are crumbling them is attitude. Your attitude is what covers you, is what shades you. It is highly needed, it's highly paramount that you must exhibit a positive attitude. And it's something that only you can change for yourself. Nobody can change you. Nobody can advise you in that way. That is either what advice and say that you want to have a positive attitude. You want to value people. You want to appreciate people. You want to treat people the way you want to be treated. But at times, I still look at that differently because some people don't like to be treated good because they don't know what is good because what you don't have, you can't give it. But I know that at times you don't like to be treated good because yourself is not good. But even though you don't want to be good or you don't want to get something good, just try to treat people in a very good way, in a very respectful, in a professional way. It helps a lot because you will definitely meet them in future. So indirectly, the primary objective of this video is to tell you that your attitude signifies how far you can go. Your attitude determines your aptitude and your attitude determines how far you can fly and your attitude determines how far your speed will be. So please, it is paramount, it is very, very vital and important that we should exhibit a positive attitude anywhere we are. Would you set an example in our community? Would you set an example in our family? Would you set an example among our friends? Would you set an example in our working environment? Would you set an example with everything that we do? Our attitude matters a lot as it counts towards our goal. Once more, I will say thank you for watching this clip for subscribing, for sharing, and for blessing others with it. Words are not enough to say thank you. Please, one thing is to share, one thing is to subscribe, which is fine, but please, I will see this opportunity to, to appeal that we should please put the content of this video into practice because things has to change because the primary objective of our videos is to impact this world and to make a significant difference in this world as we are not here for long. We are not here forever. Even though we didn't die, one day we will get old. You cannot tell me right now that the way you are today, that was the way you, when you were born. So that's not the way you will be in the next 10 or 15 or 20 years time. Stop deceiving yourself. Keep a positive attitude and think different. Life is more than how you think. We can make it when we all have positive attitude. We can make it when we all value ourselves. We can make it when we all give ourselves a level of support. We can make it when we all give ourselves a level of push. We can make it when we are honest to ourselves. We can make it when we are honest to others. We can make it when we are sincere in everything that we do. So henceforth, we have to be honest to ourselves. We have to keep a positive attitude because it will make a significant difference in our life. Once more, thank you for sharing this video and have a blessed day as I, as I quit right now. Thank you. Bye.